Yo, yeah, what's good, y'all, man? It's your, it's your boy, the Wolf, the Wolf, man, the Wolf of Crypto here, y'all. Recording live, another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Thanks for tuning in today. Today's episode, man. I just got to talk about this, this thing they keep calling investing, trading. I got, I got, I gotta say, y'all. We what about halfway? Uh, we about halfway done here. Yeah, we're we're halfway done. A little bit more halfway done with the month of January twenty twenty one. It's still, it's still boof. Uh, this pandemic is is bugging big time. But uh, yeah, I just I just really want to talk about this this tool, this trade, this. It's almost become to the part, I should say, let me repeat that. It's, yeah, it's gotten to the point now where it's, it's, uh, it's an obsession, man. Like, my mind, my brain is like constantly just, in a sense, like crunching numbers of like, you know what, how, how can I find different ways here to just, make my money to just keep making money and making money and just because you know man it's i think it's a different experience uh if you're you know this because for me this is this is all self-made man like, i'm gonna be a there's gonna be a time and point where i'm gonna be a self-made millionaire i don't know what's gonna happen what's gonna happen buddy uh But being broke and like, you know, I, I'm going to keep it real. I'm, I ain't rich. I'm not wealthy. And there's a difference between rich and wealthy. I hope, hope you all know that. I got my definitions of what's rich and what's wealthy. Because people can say they're rich, but there's only a few that are wealthy. Like, wealthy is a different, different level. But, so if you're, if you're, having this same experience that I'm having, because I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Money is just, it's nice to just go and look all the different accounts and like, oh, we made some money today, we made some money today, we made some money today. Take out some profits here and there, pay yourself another 10% to some other accounts, you know. Just having your money is... Like I said, man, it's just like it's like it's on my mind all the time now. It's it's like it's like my fiend, my attic. It's like ah, how can I find other ways to bring in some passive income? Just because I feel like if I just really took this serious, or even somebody just even showed me. I mean, I've always heard like you know, heard mentions about it. Classic case of yeah, you know, that's how Warren Buffett made all his money. Oh, okay, he just invested, huh? It's like nobody really just sat me down and said, you know what? This is the this is the formula if you want to have some real money. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that that wealth that is just beyond imagination, folks. I watch a lot of TV and movies, man, and <laughs> the type of money I'm I'm imagining is just astronomical it's colossal uh but uh the ways of to invest how all of a sudden you create different strategies for yourself while you're investing and then of course the results of course of course a lot of probably saying oh well, we're thinking that you know this is all happening during a bull run ah that's where you're on, my friends. See, I actually learned how to... I learned in a bear market, man. You know how hard that is? You know how hard it is to learn in a bear market? For about like... Well, we were in a bear market for what? Good two years? I took some... I took some L's. I took some L's. Yup, mm-hmm. But I had a whole lot more W's, though. And those W's turned into some... Hmm. Thank things. That extra boost, that extra confidence. 
because I'm going to say it again, man. I just, ooh, ooh, wee, ooh, wee. Tell me, all right, now. If I had just, oof. My magic number right now, I would say right now, just to be able to trade with, like, daily. I feel like 50 racks is cool, man. You know, I seen a YouTuber who had, like, 30. He was playing with 30 on, on the stock game. And I think that fool was making, like, 10, 15 racks a day. I was like, oh, that's nasty. I said, whoa, those are the numbers he was making? I said, ooh. I think that's what kind of turned the... Turned my head, for, uh, caught my eye. I was like, hold on, bro. This, this dude. He was doing that with stocks. I'm trying to do with crypto. Crypto seven days a week, folks. 24 hours a day. It does not sleep. Money is constantly just going in, going out, going in. I'm like, ooh. Stocks a little slow game, but you know, I'm getting into the stock game. I'm not going to lie. I'm diversifying the portfolio. Gotta make sure that diversification is there. Cause when it's there, it's just oh it's a more it's even a more beautiful feeling. Cause I know some that are just, you know, in like one or two, maybe three, four. <laughs> Not I, sir. Not I. I'm at, I'm at like 15, 20 in them thing. I got my things and I call them little uh, little little pots, little money pots. I just plant them. In different places. And I see what type of returns I'm getting. And I just. And I take my profits. Because you know. For me at least going in. Initially my thought. Especially when I'm investing. Trading. Looking to. You know looking to make. At the end of the day. We're looking to make some money folks. I'm here for the money. Make the money. Enjoy the technology. Because the technology is. Technology of crypto, y'all, this, this wave is old. day doesn't make sense. It's so beyond its time. It's just wild. But it's a great space. But that's the thing. It's time consuming, man. Time is money. Money is time. I don't think people... I'm going to go in on that statement a little bit, though. I'm going to get back to that. But just seven days a week, 24 hours... There's opportunities for your money to just go up at least 1%. Is that asking for a lot? Like, ah, this is where I get back to where, you know, this is, you guys hear me in my other, my other episodes. Man, this is why I don't really rock with banks, bruh. Banks is, them, them dudes are some crooks, gangsters, straight up mafia type folks, man. They literally tell you to put your money oh with us, trust us, and we're gonna give you this type of return. How much sense does that make? Huh? Yeah, I'm over here with my <laughs> I call them my crypto bank accounts, my offline wallets. You know, wallets that, you know, not attached to exchanges. Crypto that I really own. Cause you know, it's all about the private keys and all that. You're a crypto nerd, crypto junkie, you know about that. Private keys. Private keys is like, ooh. It's essential, man. Because the type of... I think the type of money we're about to get into with this new financial wave is going to be spooky. Because, man, you got some heavy hitters that got some... Like, when I say crypto wells, man, if you see some of the wallets that have some of the... With some... <laughs> Some of the money that you see in there, you're just like, sheesh. Who owns that wallet? They got a large bag. My bag's going to be large too, though. Give it a little bit more time, a little bit more seasoning. A little bit more seasoning. Back to these boo-boo banks that people be putting their money in. You know, I'm still trying to figure out that one. Like, I'm not, I'm gonna keep it 100. <laughs> I don't even really like having any money in the bank. <clears throat> that, that might sound really crazy to some folks right now. It's real foreign. Yeah, it's real foreign, buddy. 
I don't like having my money in banks. Give me some good reasons why I should have money in the bank. Like, come on. I don't see a lot of pros. I see a whole lot of cons. I put my money over here in these, you know, these these crypto bank accounts. Money's coming in every day, every day, every day. Like, and it's all fully insured, like, you know. Because with the offline wallets and all that, you know, private keys, you know, nobody, nobody can get to that crypto online. You know, exchanges, you know, it's a little different story, but as far as just having, if you have any money that's just sitting and it's, and you check back the next day and it didn't go up a little bit. It's, I know what that felt like, man. Like, that's why I was like, eh. people think I'm crazy. That's fine. Continue to think I'm crazy, but the money is going up, man. Compared to when I had it in banks and it's just, you, you would look and you'd be like, oh, man, I spent it, but it ain't like, I ain't getting no. My, my money ain't making no money. Unless I'm actually like, you know, out here trying to get checks and all that. But like, as far as me as a person doing any type of, I guess, yeah, we can say business. And for you to want to hold on to my money, we're talking about hard earned money. I'm not, not going to say hard earned cash. I'm just going to say hard earned money. Because money comes in so many different types of forms. You want me to put my hard earned money in your institute and you don't give me nada? Yeah, that's just, I can't rock with that philosophy. Like, nah, fam, that ain't for me. It's not for me. So on top of so that's 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 the even better part with the cherry on top, I feel like, because I feel way more comfortable as a trader investor, knowing that every time I take some profits out, those profits are gonna continue like they're gonna compound like the interest is like it's just gonna it's gonna go up even more. And that's something that, for me, 2021, I would say probably last year as well, these staking coins and coins where you can earn interest, heavy in the portfolio. Like, just, they have to be, because, I mean, we're talking about just money just coming in at these prices with the current market cap right now. We, we barely just trickled a trillion, folks. Imagine when it trickles 10 trillion, whenever that comes. I mean, imagine that. Whew. Imagine just you've been collecting ever since then. Like, but hey, I know people, you know, they're conditioned to think one way, learn one way, and not, if you're not. Not willing to take a risk. Ah, that's another thing, man. Like it's hard for me to sometimes communicate some of these things, and I talk about my experiences, and people not realize, man. Like ah, you, you risking your money too. But see, that's another thing. A lot of people come in thinking, you know, you know, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm growing small accounts here, folks. Talking about you know five hundred thousand here, but we're talking about small accounts that I'm growing and they're getting big. And all this data, all these, all these numbers tell me, they tell me this. Yes, if I'm at, if I have fifty k in any trading account, man, monthly returns could be anywhere from like, I don't even know. Look at that, maybe like what minimum of 
anywhere from like 10 to 30 percent and you know i'm gonna have to put the calculator real quick let's just go say let's just say we say 25 percent we're gonna low we're gonna start low we're gonna start low let's just say i got 50 on trading for the month i make 25 percent back that's Folks, that's 12.5. Okay, off top. In a month. Off 50. Off 50. I don't know. That just sounds... Sounds like... Sounds very tempting. But I'm going to get back on this statement when I say money is time. And time is money when I say people don't really understand that or maybe they do or maybe they just maybe they see it differently than i see it because i see it like this man because you know i'm working a nine to five i i don't like it i hate it i'm not gonna cap that shit is ass buns boo boo working at yep a warehouse amazon <laughs> Sheesh. But hey, hey, you know what? Money's money. I gotta, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. So, you know, other stuff blow up, which we hoping for. We gonna work for it, but I look at this, man. My job basically tells me my value is only about what? Up to like 120 bones for an eight hour shift. I just, ooh, that's, that's right there. That's just a punch in the stomach off top. Like, so you're only telling me that I'm only worth $120 for eight hours? Okay. All right. Or, or we put those same hours in to invest in trading. And then you look at, like I said, the number I just put in, 20, let's just say I have 50, 25%. Like, 12.5, man, in a month. Which I think I could I could do. I mean, <laughs> type of RIs I be getting is just filthy. But again, I'm one of those types that, you know, I, I watch market probably 24-7. Because, I mean, it's like, I feel like if you experience this where you get good and it's just like, damn, like, <clears throat> if I'm this good at it, why not just, why not take advantage, man? It's a big market, developing technology. So I, I mean, that's another thing, too. I feel like a lot of people just look, some, I'll say some people. I think crypto is all just about, you know, the currency trading. It's not all about that, man. This, this technology for some of these coins is just, like, it's really getting integrated into the world where it's going to be. It's going to be massively adopted. And again, this is my first time really being able to trade and invest during a bull run like this. Because I came in at a time where the bull one was it was up and then it shot down and then i learned how to or, you know tell myself you know let's go ahead and figure this out because this ain't it I'm telling y'all nine to five jobs corporate is not for me i'll say that and it's funny because being an adult now compared to like you know as a kid when you hear like oh you know adult this but adulting this you know school don't really prepare you for this and it's like ah as a kid you're kind of like you know ah ah yeah uh -huh. hey man they really don't though it's wild but at the same time feel like if the option or again if somebody I feel like if somebody would just show me this type of stuff or 
gave me like, you know what, you should look into this. Because I feel like this type of job, being a trade investor, I feel like, hmm, I feel like there's too much speculation of the negative side to it. Where a lot, I feel like, when if somebody said that's their job title, people be like, oh, nah, this man is just a gambler. And it's like, he, know, he don't know what he's doing. Like, he's risking money all the time. Like, because I can lie, there's probably, there's, there's, there are cases where people, you know, get a little, a little crazy with it. But I'm talking about, you can talk, I'm talking about the fundamentals where you're actually like learning. Like, man, this is, you know, this is better than any job. I'm sorry. I am sorry. If you give me eight hours for a day, and you like, all right, here's <laughs> here's the money you could go play with for eight hours. See how much you gonna make, man. Yo, like what? Because I feel like now I'm at the point too where I'm at disconnect with the parentals a little bit when it comes to this being a really, like, I, as a job, like, what? They think I'm crazy. It's wild. It's really wild. Like, I don't know if it's because, like, maybe they never take a risk. I don't got to educate about it. I don't, I don't know what it is, man, but I be trying to tell people, like, yo, that's another thing I got to realize, too. Like, this ain't for everybody. And a lot of times, some people just want to, you know, ask me or get advice or, you know, insights, which I don't even know I don't mind. But again, like, if you come to me for help, and I put in some time, and you're not really trying to get with the program. See, I'd be like, yeah, hey, 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 hey. This, this is the time is money, money is time thing I'm talking about. Like, what's, what's, what's popping off? Because ever since I've learned this, folks, I'm like, ooh, okay. Touching a little bit of this moolah. The narrow, this money, but also being able to manage it and get to a different level, have it where it's basically just, it's like your own printer for money. You know how, you know, the states is over here, just printing unlimited amounts of money. Well, you can also, too, create your system where you're just printing, uh, well, I don't know if it'll be a limited amount, but it, it can be close to it. Because when I see some of these institutional investors hopping into crypto land, and we're looking at we're looking at possibly closing out January, and Bitcoin might be above like 34K at least minimum. I'm still trying to track down if it's gonna if it's gonna fall. Is it gonna drop? What what's what's popping? But investing trading is definitely a game changer. I think I found my calling, folks. At least the next calling. I'm looking for plays. I mean, plays I be making, the reinvesting. Thing. I'm like, ooh. But nobody taught me this. I think that's one of the probably one of the most empowering feelings too, as you might be out there trading, thinking like, ah man, this is, this is tough. It, it could be tough a little bit at first. But if you stick with it, I'm telling y'all, I'm speaking for me. This is only for me, I'm only like what? About three about three years in. They use the experience a little bit right here. Feeling like a vet a little bit. But I feel like there's still plenty to learn. 
still playing to learn. And I'm not even putting in. I'm putting. I'm not even putting in. Am I putting in full time? Nah, I'm not. Just need a little bit more. Need a little bit more. I get a little bit more. We go full time. I'm telling you, once this pandemic is over, man, traveling, 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 traveling. It's another reason why I want this to be my job. All I need is internet. Give me a computer or a phone and some Wi Fi. Wi Fi lit. Oof. This pandemic is bugging. I gotta get out, y'all. I feel like I'm going insane sometimes. Like, it's like the nightmare on Elm Street every day. It's like, whoa, bro, we stuck in this nightmare. When we gonna wake up? Sheesh. But for any of those out there that might be, you know, contemplating on the whole, you know, should I invest? Should I trade? I mean, I look at it this way, man. Um, takes money, make money, obviously. Um, those that who really, who really make the money, those are the ones that take risk, man. But you can start small. I'm telling y'all, don't get caught up in the, you know, oh, I made, you know, a rack today or 10, but like, trust me, it's possible. Like, you want to be consistent with it. Like, you want to consistently hit them 5%, 10%. Well, if you're not, if you're not willing to risk it, man, I mean, I'm trying to think, where else can you really get these type of returns, man? I mean, that's, that's what's... The part right there, that's just crazy because it's like, I be seeing 20, 30, like 40, 50, like anywhere up to, I've seen what, on one of my plays, I had a hundred and I think it was 10% return. I'm like, yo. And this other one, it's like over five, 90%. I'm like, I'm like, man, don't let me have some real money. Don't let me touch some real money. I'm getting these returns. Then you'll, yeah, those 10 rack days, yeah, that's very obtainable. And that's another thing. You can find, you can find the ones that you like the most, focus on those ones, hone those ones in, master those ones. Because that's, that might be the, case to get you kind of over the hump like yo master master one like focus on one research on one put a little money in there see what it do you know again like it's it's gonna go up it's just a matter of when but i think that's gonna really uh, Let's go wrap it up for, for tonight's episode, man. This telling you right now. Hope some of y'all are experiencing it. Cause y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, ooh, you you come back, you look at your account, you look like, oh man, we made how much today? Total return at what? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a go ahead and round of applause. You know what I mean, cause can't emphasize it enough when your money is constantly working for you I'm telling you a 9 to 5 turns into you know some leverage at that point cause ooh do you want to spend time doing this or do you want to spend time doing this but I need that to connect with this until I get to there and that catch what I'm saying but uh appreciate y'all, you know. 
coming in, checking in, checking out the cast. Hope y'all learned something tonight, man. Hope y'all learned a little something, something. Um, cause we gonna twenty twenty one. Telling you, before you know, it's gonna be summer. I'm trying to have all my chips lined up, ready to go. Like I said, I'm planning. I'm planning my money pots. My money pots. Feeding them, making sure they're growing, seeing that they're healthy. Because it's very key. It's, it's very, it's very key. So that's it for this episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. It's your boy, the Wolf Crypto here. Just want to say thanks for y'all, you know. Checking out the cast. Hope y'all enjoying it. Hope y'all enjoying it. Uh, definitely. Probably going to be talking about Robin Hood on the next episode for sure. Probably going to have to dive on into that because, ooh, our eyes, the, the returns, their small account, it's, it's growing. I got some goals, some things I'm trying to get with that one too, but, um, Again, the Crypto Millionaire Journey. You guys can listen to it on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, anywhere basically where a podcast is <laughs> able to be listened to. But uh, again, if you're going to trade, if you're going to invest, um, make sure you're willing to risk what you're willing to lose. Because again, I am. Nowhere near a financial advisor, so you guys are taking it. <laughs> ain't my plays, ain't my advice. I'm just saying, you don't get the same results, please. It's not, it's not me. Just gonna let y'all know that because that is my little your discretion is advice. But um, yeah, take care, y'all. Till next time, peace.